All right, how do we estimate a concrete slab? Okay, first we have to have a drawing with some, or you have to have some kind of dimensions, and then you need to have your equation. All right, since I'm going to be working with rectangles, my equation would be length times width times the thickness. Those are in feet, and then I'm going to divide by 27 because there are 27 cubic feet in a cubic yard. That's my conversion into cubic yards. Okay, so my numbers over here are in feet. Now, if I have a shape like this, I have to do more than one calculation because I have to divide it into shapes that I have formulas for. So I'm going to divide it into this square and then I'm going to divide it, the rest of it into that rectangle. Okay, so I'm pouring a four inch slab or placing a four inch slab, the correct term. So I'm going to use this equation and I'm going to use those numbers. Okay, so my length, so I'm going to do this rectangle first. So the length is 60 times the width of 30 times the thickness, which is 4 inches. Okay, now if you remember your math, you can't multiply feet and inches, so I have to convert this one into feet so it matches the other ones. So the way to do that is put it over 12. Okay, then I'm going to divide the whole thing by 27. Um, if you have a good calculator, you would take 60 times 30 times 4 divided by 12, and then you would hit equals, divided by 27 equals. If you do that correctly, you would get 60 times 30 times parentheses 4 divided by 12 parentheses equals divided by 27 equals and I would get 22.96 or 23 cubic yards. So we need 23 cubic yards to do this 60 by 30 section. Then I would have to do the same calculations for my smaller section. So I would put 20 times 20 times 4 over 12 divided by 27. So it would be 20 times 20 times parentheses 4 divided by 12 equals divided by 27 equals 20 times 20 times parentheses 4 divided by 12 parentheses equals divided by 27 equals 4.93 or we'll say 5 cubic yards. So I add the two together. This floor would be 28 cubic yards of concrete. Now, when working with concrete, you always want to add for waste because you're going to have dips and um, where it may take more or you didn't quite figure the, co the correct depth. Um, you're going to be screening some and it's going to fall in the dirt or whatever. So you always want to add. Um, usually the larger the area you're covering, the more waste you want to include in your calculations so that you have enough and you don't run out. So on a house, you may add 10 or 15 percent or even 20 percent. So you would take this number and multiply it times, if we're going to use, say, 20% uh, waste. So 
So we would take 2.8 times, or excuse me, 28 times 1.2, 28 times 1.2, and get 33.6 yards. Okay, that would give me um, a little over five yards extra. If you don't think you're going to waste that, maybe only wanted 10%, then it would be 28 times 1.1, that would be 30.8 cubic yards. Okay, so that gives you almost three cubic yards more than uh, you would figure. So, these equation, this equation will work for rectangles. Remember, you convert everything into feet. Convert in inches into feet. All you have to do is put it over 12, and then when you put it into your calculator, just parenthesis, put parentheses around it because it'll do what's inside the parentheses before it does what's outside. So that'd be four divided by 12, which is what a fraction is, is a division. Um, make sure you hit equals, and then you're gonna divide by 27 because there are 27 cubic feet, 27 cubic feet equals one cubic yard. So that's how I convert it from feet into yards. So, that, that's it for that slab.